Hey guys, it's been a while. Let me introduce you to Natalie. We're back. <laughs> so yeah, um, Natalie has been to the hospital what three, four times since. I don't know. I think it was like three, maybe less. I don't know. <laughs> With and and why did you go to the hospital? So the first time. My asthma was exacerbated. Or exacerbated. Word. Uh, the second time I had, I woke up last week, or was it last week? Yeah, last week. Really, really bad body aches, and my legs were insane. I mean, like, ass. Dan, I woke up like I, my face was grimacing. <laughs> we'll go back and say everybody in the house had been sick. I had something that caused a cough and a headache for like four days and felt nauseated. I'm very weak for like three or four days. Like all of my energy was drained. So, and it was most likely what you had. What did you have? So I went to the hospital after, after suffering the most day with a horrible, horrible pain. And I thought that oh, maybe it was like asthma and the flu or something. I had COVID. <laughs> yeah, so most likely we all had COVID. And, and the kids, all three of them went to the hospital over like a week period, didn't they? Yeah. And all, one got tested. The other two did it. Yeah. And, but and the one that was tested was negative. It was negative, and it's possibly because it's just, you know, a day or two away from the testing phase or whatever. Yeah. What do you get, like a three days of contagious or something like that? So, but the schools and all, they require you to go to a... A hospital and get a doctor's note or, or something like that, <laughs> right? So, this, what is the topic of today's discussion? Well, I and mean, then we were talking about the second time, right? Away. Hmm? The second time, I went, you were back on the hospital by to go three times. Oh, uh, well, okay, go ahead and finish. Oh, last night, I. I had pain all day, like, in my chest, like, really bad pain, which I thought was my asthma pain. But as the day went on, it got worse, and so I went to the ER last night, and sure enough, it was just my asthma. And, yeah, they, they gave me, like, more nebulizers. Which I already, I was doing the nebulizer at home. But they gave me prednisone. And probably within 20 minutes, they ate the prednisone. I was like, basically, okay, like normal again. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh, that happens all the yeah. time, guys. <laughs> Sick or not, a fan. There's a fan above there that's messing with her, probably, right? Ceiling fan. Oh yeah. Um. So her. So for like two days, her face was like pale white, and you could tell that she didn't really feel good. So uh, yesterday, early earlier in the day, I said, you know, you need to go to the hospital. But of course, Natalie waits till eight, nine, ten o'clock at night to go. I do. Yeah, I didn't want to go at all. And then last night the bed got really bad, and that's <clears> when <throat> I got scared. Yeah. So. So your your asthma was exacerbated two or three times, two or three better, of these visits, yeah. and then you had the COVID on the the second or third visit or whatever it was. So, like I said, most likely we all had COVID at some point in time. Yeah, because even your mom and 
John had the same symptoms. So. Yeah, same that headache, and he was down for a few days. I don't know how he is right now, though. Um, so, what is today's topic? You know, we, we finished off... Uh, who, how many weeks ago? <laughs> that was before Thanksgiving, right? Before Thanksgiving, we started the holiday thing. And I thought we'd be at, like, part three. You know, holidays, part three. But not, <laughs> there may only be two. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll do an after-holiday part three. Maybe. So, what happened... Uh, this is the holidays part two. What happened... Uh, for Thanksgiving, what did we end up doing? We went to the Oga, what Oga Forest. Okefenokee Swamp. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. We, I think when in our last video we said we yeah. is it the Osceola Forest or Okefenokee or whatever, but it's Okefenokee Swamp. So it borders on like North Florida and South Georgia. So we went to. Um, my side of the family's a uh, little gathering there where he built kind of... Is it like a cabin or is it like a house that has like an exterior cabin yeah, feel? I would call it a cabin. <laughs> so they built it from the ground up, you know, over maybe a year period or so. Um, and I, the, what would you... What did you think about the food? Especially that ham. Very odd. It's odd. It's good, but it was odd. <laughs> what they called ham, I would say looking at it and feeling the texture and how much fat, I would say it was like a pork belly or something. What would you say? It was like 90% fat, and it wasn't chewy. I mean, it wasn't I like sweet or that. super. So uh, I thought it was like what you put on my plate. <laughs> All of it was like what I put on your plate. All the whole ham, which is, and this was a. Where did they go to get the? Uh, it's a restaurant. They had it like some restaurant, yeah, that catered. Um, and what what uh, city was that? They. Glen St. Mary or somewhere Butler? else? No, no, no. It was McClenny, I guess, is where they got where oh, the where the uh, restaurant yeah, was. Okay. So where they're at, you could go to Lake, uh, not Lake Butler, Lake City, fairly easily, or you could go to McClenny, you know, for Walmart or whatever. You do your shopping. So sometimes I guess you could go to Lake City, and <laughs> she was like, "Let's go to Lake City when we left, right?" Because her yeah, sister lives my there. Sister. <laughs> <clears throat> but you know we were our kids were riding with my mom so and they arrived right after we did so that would not have worked out mom would have been really angry daddy was so disappointed <laughs> i'm like we didn't have time to unload and do the bathroom or anything oh we walked in and two seconds later the yep they were coming <laughs> they come up right behind us <clears throat> So this place is, as we said, it's kind of swampy. It's, it, you know, obviously the Okefenokee Swamp, it, you know. Um, <clears throat> they got, what, three horses? And um, we got to pet pet the horses and look around. And some people, in, and our kids got to ride the horses. All three of them got to ride. Uh, one of the horses that, that the lady was training. Um, so... Cows, chickens. Oh uh, yeah, they got it. They okay. So this is strange. We never seen the cow or cows or whatever. They've got them like out in the woods, which is really weird to me. It's weird because you usually see cows on an open pasture. Like a pasture. <laughs> but this is in the swamp. They they just got it. They fenced in like a forest or a swamp, and the you know if the cows don't want to show themselves, you know they're hidden. You don't see them. <laughs> I've seen people do that with, like, pigs, where they'll put, like, pigs in, like, yeah. a, a swampy forest area because, you know, they do well, you know, ru uh, what do you call it, rutting or whatever, you know, the soil and getting, you know, all the nutrients out of there and the acorns and stuff, but I've never seen anybody put put a cow no, in. No, I love a cow I have. <laughs> the grass or... I thought it was like a half an acre of grass a day. Like they do supplementally 
feed them. You know, you could see they had feed uh, buckets and all there. Yeah. So I I don't know what if they get any nutrients from that forest or if they just oh, I, I should have asked them why what their purpose yeah. was. Maybe that the forest because it floods so much there they were afraid maybe if they cut all of it out that you know that they would like sink like the cows would sink and like <laughs> I don't know I've heard of like you know goats and stuff like going to ask them to cut this yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard I've heard of like goats sinking in like a, a sinkhole or well, not a sinkhole. What is it called? Like quicksand or whatever. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like I I want to say out back in our yard, um, in the neighbor's yard when we ran uh, goats out there, one of them like sunk. Like qu- I think we saved them, but I think it it sunk like quicksand out there in one spot. Um. We have dogs driving us crazy here. You could probably hear their nails hitting the floor. Um, so what's what are we doing for Christmas? <clears throat> oh well, I guess you could say we're having like five events, four events. <laughs> four events. Your mom is coming here tomorrow night. We're doing our gift exchange with your mom. And the kids. And the kids. Sunday morning, my mom is coming here. We're doing our gift exchange with my mom the kids and then Sunday afternoon um, all of us be you the kids and my mom are going to your mom's house where your aunt and cousin her boyfriend and their two kids are coming and we're doing a I guess you could say a party, even though it's like finger, finger food. And the kids, our kids and Danielle's two kids, are doing a gift exchange. Yeah. So that's Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday morning, we'll wake up. And we'll do Christmas boarding with the kids and you and me. And then Christmas afternoon, we're going back to your mom's house where there is a party, a big party, with your aunt and uncle. Uh, is that our aunt and uncle? Man. brother-in-laws and all that stuff I yeah <clears throat> so yeah my side of the family and stuff yeah. um oh these dogs are, dry, are making me nervous <laughs> walking around here watch them like lay a big old turd on the floor or something yeah, we were. <laughs> <laughs> this is boring I talking about this it feels like I, you know I'm lo- worrying about the dog and kind of like off track here I keep hearing him So what was the biggest news that why we decided to do this video in the first place? We reached... We reached 50 subscribers. 50 guys! Yeah! So cool. It's slowly, it's, you know, sometimes you, you get like five or ten subscribers one week and then it's slowly you get like one in a week and then... It's, a, you know, we we have a pretty diverse amount of content, I guess, for for the limited time we have to do this, and, and you know, and despite the like low production value, <laughs> uh, yeah. so why haven't we done any like shorts lately? Do you know? Do busy do. Uh- 
Dude, I don't know everything. I got my nails dead, though. They're all holiday. Uh, I, I would say here, here's the thing with the shorts, especially like, like making, how many times are you going to brew a cup of coffee, you know, the, <laughs> the same exact way to do like a, a one minute short or less, and it's, it becomes repetitive. So if we're not being innovative and mm. trying to try new things and new ways of, of, you know, new content. It's it's just the same thing. So uh, that that's my explanation of why I haven't really done any shorts or we haven't done any lately. But now you know why we haven't done any like talk videos because Natalie's been sick, and you know, yeah. So what else? Oh, not much about anything like. Big news was for these subscribers, which to all you YouTubers, like famous YouTubers, that nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, well, we're kind of just playing around with this. So that's huge. <laughs> so, I guess I would like to say to people that think that we might be trying to dabble into too many things. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think we're going into too many different directions, or do you think not enough? We haven't found our niche yet. Mm, I don't think we found our niche, but I don't know. This channel is kind of just about life. Yeah. Our mm. lives, like it's the only reason we started this was because of my disability. And getting the house right done, and, <coughs> and and you can we just kind of get it up. When the fundraising is done, and when the most of the accommodations are done, what are you going to talk about? You know, you can only talk so, so much about FA, and, and there will be new challenges in the future, which I'm sure that she'll say, "Okay, let's do a video." Yeah. This person peed me off, or this is something I'm frustrated with, or this is something I'm passionate about. And I'll say, like, you know, my finds of the past, you know, videos, um, they're, they're going to be limited. You know, it was kind of cool to say, okay, I found this in the past at a pawn shop or a yard sale, and I've got a good deal on it, and this is cool and collectible item or whatever. But it's very limited because, you know, you only have so many things like that to talk about. And, and I think... I think the stories that go along with a lot of the things that I show is more important, I guess you would say. You just went completely out of frame, Natalie. Sorry. <laughs> Showed my junky desk over there because you've shifted your... Uh, yeah, I mean, I only have so many stories. Hopefully, I can tell a lot. And Natalie's got stories, you know. Hopefully, you know, over time, she can tell all of her little stories. And people will find some of this stuff interesting. But, no one finds me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they do. But, um... Show up here and do find me interesting. Uh... But hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we have new adventures to talk about too. And um, I'm assuming that the next talk video we'll do will be about after Christmas. You know, how was Christmas? But we we do after that. We really should talk about what goodies did we get? Yeah, um, we do have. I keep saying this every time we get a we do a video. We have some serious discussions to to talk about. You know, this is. First yeah, Christmas. We, we just have done. <laughs> this is the first Christmas without her daddy. Don't worry. So this there's gonna be a lot of one day we'll have a lot to talk about. I just I don't know if Natalie's ready yet. But after Christmas, after New Year's baby, I'm gonna say, Natalie, you have to do this. We have to start mm. the process. Mm. That doesn't mean that there aren't gonna be sad and depressing times between now and Christmas because I'm sure her and her mom will talk and cry and right, talk right. about it. But 
I think I think that's about it. I know this is boring. I can already tell. Sometimes you sometimes when we talk, I can get a feel for things and I can say the flow is really good or the the flow isn't great. It's boring. What do you do you feel it's boring this one? It was supposed to be short, so if we shut up, it'll be short. <laughs> it's 20 minutes already, so it's not short. Well, we need to stop then. Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. Like my... <laughs> yeah, I can't talk. Like this video higher and up. subscribe to my higher. channel. Higher. Put your thumbs up higher. They can't see like. it. Like. 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 Like this video and subscribe to Natalie's channel. Okay, guys. Take care. Bye.